Hi, Dr. Heather here from Wellspring Chiropractic. Today, I wanna talk to you about the top three habits to start doing in order to improve your posture. So the first one is looking at the devices. So we know that the bad habit is looking down. The good habit is if you have a, a iPhone or a smartphone, you wanna put your fist underneath your armpit and then you're gonna come up with the, your arm at an angle so that that uh, hand is right in front of your face instead of looking down. For other devices like laptops or desktops, that laptop, you wanna not put it on your lap, but actually put it on a surface that's higher, which might be a table or a desktop. Um, but again, it should be a little bit higher than that so that it's raised up so your, your vision is looking straight ahead at the screen. And then you can attach a keyboard to an external keyboard so that your arm's in the right place for keyboarding. The next one is about sleeping. So you wanna sleep with one pillow and ideally it's gonna be a pillow that actually has reinforcement to support the curve in your neck. Uh, the proper pillow is the name of the pillow that we recommend, uh, but any pillow that's going to support the curves in the neck is what you wanna be looking at, both when you're on your back as well as when you're on your side. So when you're on your back, you want a good forward curve in the neck. When you're on your side, you want your spine to be straight in line with the rest of your spine down your back, so it's straight. And then the third start doing tip is regarding driving. So you wanna be sitting upright in your seat. You wanna bring your seat right up to 90 degrees. You do not want it reclined. And when you do bring it up to 90 degrees, sometimes I notice that the car manufacturers they must all have poor posture when they design these cars because when you bring that seat up to 90 degrees, oftentimes the headrest might be pushing your head forward more. And if that's the case, one um, hack that you can try is to take the head piece out and turn it around backwards and put it back in. Um, and sometimes you have to recline the chair, uh, the, the seat all the way down so that you can actually pull it out and then turn it around, put it on and then bring it back up again. Um, if that is not working, then uh, it is important to get a pillow to put behind your back, which brings your torso forward. For a headrest to work properly, it needs to be two to three inches from the back of your head. And so we definitely wanna make sure that if we are putting the headrest in backwards, that when that seat is up 90 degrees, that it actually is still two, no more than two to three inches away from the back of the head. Um, and so if, it, if you can't do that, then having the headrest going forward the regular way at 90 degrees, if it is pushing the head forward again, make sure you put a pillow behind your back that pushes you forward a bit so that your posture can be upright so that the center of your head is right over the center of your shoulder as you're driving. The other thing with driving is oftentimes you'll want your seat to be a little closer to the steering wheel than you may have had it when you were uh, driving with a more reclined posture. And that's so that you have a good angle in your hips and your knees, and you can still reach the pedals on the floor. So the key things for driving are the seat is up at 90 degree angle. You have the proper support behind your back. So you have a forward curve at the waist, and then you have uh, proper, cur proper angles with your hips and your knees. So those are the good habits to start doing to help your posture, working with your devices and your computers, technology use, your sleep, and your car. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share it with friends and family. I'll share more with you again soon. Thank you.